So our first step will be we will be logging as a unit admin. I'll put up put down the OTP for unit admin. He will be login. Then under this admin section, what the user can do create user. If the user doesn't exist, then what he has to do, he has to enter the HRMS ID, then click on go and under the user type, there are three roles PF loan dealing clock, PF loan verifying authority and PF loan accepting authority. So whatever type of user type he wants to create, he has to create the user for new users here. And if the user exists in the system already and we want to assign an additional role to the user, supposedly there are some DC and we want to make them LDC as well. So we have to go and under this add role, add new role section, there are some roles, these um, PF loan dealing clerk, PF loan verifying authority and PF loan accepting authority. After entering remarks, he has to add role for the respective users. So this will be the first part where we will be creating the respective users. After creating users, LDC, LVA and LA, we are supposed to form a mapping between LDC, LVA and LAA. So whatever uh, LDC and LVA we have created in the above section, they will be automatically get reflected here. So under all the PF dealing clerk, there will be we can assign a PF verification authority and similarly a PF accepting authority. After mapping, we will be submitting these records and the LDC will be mapped for LVA and LA. After forming the metrics, we will be assigning employees to the LDC. So I'm click, uh, choosing this uh, LDC Ajay Singh Rawat for this demo. So there are two types of assignments, bulk assignment and one on one assignment. So firstly, I'll show the bulk assignments in bulk assignment section. There will be bill unit station department designation. So whatever filter you want to add, you can add and supposedly I'm choosing this bill unit all stations, all designations and departments. So we have 39 employees under this bill unit um, to be assigned will be reflecting these numbers and already assigned will be showing how many of them are already assigned to this LDC. So under this unit we have already assigned and so we will be choosing this. So there are none of the employees that have been assigned to this. So when we click this on assignment button, all the 108 uh, employees will automatically get assigned to Mr. Ajay Singh Rawat. Similarly, if you want one on one assignment. We have to toggle between the bulk assignment and one on one assignment. For that, I'll be refreshing my screen. Yeah, so here we will be entering our IPAS ID, then we will be assigning employees. Here we will be having an option for unassigned employees as well. So assignment and unassignment will be done from this assign employees tab under loan and advances section. Also, we can see the uh, like list of the employees that are already assigned by clicking on the button loan load list on this page. We will have a look on all the assignments done so far. Like this. So once we have mapped the LDC, LV and LA entries and assigned the employees, the unit admins part in PF role, PF module is completed and we are all set up to work on the PF. So if the user wants to apply for a uh, PF loan, firstly he has to log in. 
So we will be logging as a user. Under loan and advances, the user has to click on my PF applications. If he or she has already applied for applications, then he may have look upon them with the current uh, status of them and the last processing date. And if it gets sanctioned, then sanctioned amount will be shown here. And if it's passed by the um, account section, the past uh, amount will be automatically get reflected here. For new application, he has to click on new application button. So the new application uh, all, uh, all gets open with the auto field details. These details are we are fetching from the HRMS uh, database that we have already uh, stored for the user. The PF balance and total outstanding balance. These are being fetched from the IPAS team and these are the current data. So for the new PF application, the user have to fill all these details. In the withdrawal type, he have to select final or temporary, whatever he wants to take as a PF, the loan. So after selecting the uh, final or temporary as the withdrawal type, he has to select the withdrawal reason. Then he will automatically give um, the maximum eligibility for the user will be populated on the basis of the conditions given below. He have to apply for an amount of that he wants to take as a loan. Then he will put the dependent name or some remarks out there in this field. To satisfy or justify the withdrawal reason, a uh, required document must be uploaded here. After um, clicking on upload, the document will be will get automatically uploaded. After uh, filling all these details, user can submit or save as draft. We will be submitting this application. So he has to enter the OTP for one level of uh, authentication. Once the application is um, uh, submitted, automatically the application number, which is unique, will be created and it will help the user to keep a track over the application that he is going to submit. Also, under my PF application, the entry will all uh, will be reflecting with the current status as FS because it's the final submission. If it he has submitted with a draft, then it will be drafted. Once he has submitted, the user's part, part is completed. Once the user has submitted its request, then it will go for the LDC. So we will be logging as LDC. The LDC mapping was given by unit admin as we have, pre we have previously seen. For the LDC, he has to make sure that if he has assigned multiple roles, then he has to select LDC as his role to work as a le uh, PF loan dealing clerk. After choosing the user role, he will go under PF loan applications to see all the PF loan applied by the employees under him or her. So on clicking on by clicking on the application number, the LDC will be forwarded to the application filled by the user. So these details as filled by the user will automatically get ref uh, reflected here. The LDC will put his remark. And will forward the application to Lo PF Loan Verification Authority. 
once he forwards the application will move to the uh, verifying authority so we will be login as a verifying authority to check So the if the PF loan verifying authority is having multiple roles, he have to select LVA in his bucket. Also, the verifying authority has given a privilege to check the PF loan applications pending with him. If the LDC is not completing his process of PF loan, then the pending cases will show the cases like L, uh, it will show the um, dealing clerks HRMS ID here and the application submitted by the users details in these fields. So monitoring purpose for the LVA is also solved by clicking on this pending application cases. To see the applications forwarded to him by the LDC, he can have a check by clicking on the PF loan applications. Once he enters into the screen, he will see a number of applications being forwarded. He can uh, click on the application. So after clicking on application, he will put his remarks. And he finds, if he finds any uh, disparency in the data, he can reject the application, which will directly move to the employee. Also, he can check the remarks put by the dealing clerk with the dealing clerk's ID. So we are verifying this case. Once verified, the list will be reflecting the changes. Now it will move to the accepting authority. If the loan accepting authority is having multiple roles, he or she suggested to use LAA as the change role option. Similarly, he will be having a number of lists applied. So on clicking on the application number, he will have the option to see the application file. Also the remarks put by the dealing clerk here and the verification authority will be here. He or she has to put the sanctioned amount here. The sanctioned amount needs to be minimum of the maximum eligibility and the applied amount. So he will put the remarks accordingly and he can reject or sign. If he rejects the application, it will directly move to the employee. If he signs and accept the application by clicking on yes, he will get a PDF of the application list uh, application and he can check the details here in this application itself. Also, when he completes um, his digital signature, his digital signature will be automatically reflected here. So he will digitally sign this and this application will move to the account section. His work will be done and the account section will further proceed with their part. So 
this are this was our um, pf module also the D, uh, la have the similar facility to monitor the pending cases like here there is one pending case that is pending with the verification authority and all the details are shown here so the loan or accepting authority can easily check that whatever cases are pending for him so this sums up our pf loan application module